Hey guys, I'm going to be going over the most common keystrokes or shortcuts that I use in Vim to help me just kind of fly around the keyboard and code quickly and jump to different portions and whatnot. So there's a lot of different shortcuts and things in Vim. There's tons, so I'm going to show you basically the uh, most used ones that I use. And I have this screen software, screen casting software right here. So as you can see, as I'm typing real big, you can see the letters I'm typing to whip around. So it makes sense. So the first thing that I use um, that helps a lot is when you're in insert mode, you push I in insert mode to get out of it. The default is escape, but I like to remap that to uh, JK. So if I'm in, I'm typing or whatever, I just hit JK and I'm back out. Um, and I can undo that with you and real quick this is um, how I remap my JK so anytime I hit JK it escapes automatically for me okay so the next thing is I use a lot is a um, this is just to basically pop you into insert mode um, and then the next letter over so let's say I want to also a I don't use as much, something I use more is capital A, which drops you in insert mode at the end of the line. So let's say for example, I forgot to uh, add a semicolon. Um, I will do capital A to pop in insert mode at the end of the line. I'll type the semicolon, I'll hit JK to get out of um, insert mode, and then I'll hit zero, um, and zero pops me back to the beginning of the list. That's what you just saw me do. So do, real fast, I can show you just doing that. Um, so I basically take all these things and do it really quickly or like may I want to change this you know I pop into insert mode just a letter over so a and I is how I usually get into insert mode there's also I believe you know E is something different I forgot about what E does but a and I is kind of how I hop into insert mode and then zero is what I do to hop to the front of the line very handy um, so if I'm you know in the middle here also you're seeing me do W W and B. So to move around the code, what I'll usually do is I'll hit zero to hit the front of the word. If I want to go further um, into the code on the same line, uh, I'll hit W and W skips to the next word. So W, W, W. Um, I'm skipping words. B is to go to backwards. So that's how you see me like go, just like go through the like, that was me spamming W. Um, you can see me just quickly go through a line and that's doing W and if you do capital W you go a little faster skipping some of the like periods and stuff um, another one I'll use is O capital O and lowercase O so O drops you in a new line in insert mode capital O drops uh, above so let's say I want to add a new parameter right here to this object just do Bob yeah. right um, and then here's me doing capital O um, to pop above, I'll write in insert mode as you can see here. So I can type Bob2, and we can type whatever we want there. So hopping in and out of insert mode, a line above and below. Um, you just saw me delete those. So U undoes what I just did. So I just undid that delete. Um, Shift V highlights these all. So I have it highlighted. I can highlight as much as I want. I can go up and down with JK. It's normal navigation and I'll hit D to delete that. Um, another thing I'll do to navigate around the page is G. So capital, or not capital, double G takes you to the top. You see how my cursor is at the top? Um, capital G takes you to the very bottom of the file. So you can see me hop around that way. Also, see how this is a code block right here? This is another code block. I can do, what is this key? Curly brace. I hit curly brace to hop. So left curly brace to go up, right curly brace to go down a code block. So that's me going around code blocks and I can go up, down, in the middle um, to move around. And of course there's also just searching with the slash um, that I use a lot. Um, I talked about W already, moving. If I wanna go to line and let's say I wanna go to um, local storage one way to do it is to just W all the way over, right? That was me Wing. I can also just type L, which moves me one at a time. Um, another way is uh, T or F. So T stands for two. 
and you just say what you want to move to. So if I want to move to the letter L, it'll try to find the first L in here and go to it. So I type a T and I say which letter I'd like to go to. I'd like to go to the letter L. Um, and you can see my cursor jumps right before it. Um, you notice I just hit 0 and W. That's a common one I'll do. So if I want to get, bring my cursor back to here, I'll hit 0 to hit come back here, W to reposition. So you'll see me do that real fast. Bam. And it'll be at the front. But if you hit F instead of T, it'll actually take you right on it. I accidentally hit L, or I hit L, and then you saw me hit semicolon. Semicolon actually takes you to the next search. So I found the first L, I hit again that, you know, go to the next, you find the next L. So for example, let's see, is there a couple O's in here? Yeah. So I'm going to find um, an O with pushing E, and I do semicolon to find more O's. Um, so that's a fast way to traverse through the line itself. Um, and then of course there's actually changing stuff. So let's say I don't want to, I don't want this to be rec. I want to be call it next or something. Um, you can change this um, with CW, which will change a word. So you notice how we would get rid of the word rec here up to the period. Um, it's so that changes a word. We can type pop out pack pop back out with JK of course. Um, and a lot of times um, it's not just a word I want to change. It's to the rest of the thing. So let's say here, I'd like to kill the rest of this line and pop into insert mode. Capital C gets rid of all that stuff. And I could type high instead if I want. I'm going to hit U to undo that because I don't want to do that. Um, if I don't want to go into insert mode, I can do capital D for delete. Um, a thing I'll use a lot is double D. So you saw me type DD, that gets rid of a whole line. Um, also, DW is what I use a lot. So that kills a single word. So you might see me just destroy that line, put it there. That was a combination of destroying the whole line with D, popping, oops, let's do that again. So just D destroy the whole line, put A um, to pop over one, and then put some icon to finish it off. Um, pasting, so after I delete this, I can, when you delete something, it's saved to your clipboard, or the Vim clipboard anyway. And you can hit P to paste it in. Put it back. Paste. I can also, you know, copy blocks. So you, you saw me just hit Shift V. So I just escaped out. Shift V. Oh, I, I actually hit B, but that doesn't. I don't think that does anything. But uppercase V um, basically highlights the whole line. You see me highlight the whole line as I go down. I can go up or down. Then I can hit Y to copy it and then P to paste it. Um, so I use that a lot. And then what else do I use? Oh yeah, indentions. So if I want to indent this over, what I'll usually do is I'll highlight it and uh, hit the double greater than or uh, less than. So you saw um, the left one brings it over to the left, right one brings it over to the right. And I can do that as many times as I want back and forth. Um, another one I use, this one I use less often because it's more of, it's not really for editing. See how my cursor is right here and I kind of want to see more of the screen. I'll hit double Z and that'll reposition my cursor in the middle of the screen. So that's really handy. Um, and that's most everything I use. So that, that you just saw me t tell you like a ton of commands that I use, but this is actually just scratching the surface of what Vim can, can really do. And using all these in conjunction is how you see me basically editing code really quickly. Um, but I would say just a recap of the ones that um, I use the most. So getting around the screen, G, G, so capital D and G and double G's to hop around. And then to go up and down, I will use um, curly braces to easily flip through the code. So that's if I want to go vertical, right? Hit G or lowercase g. The other way to navigate through code is to, through the line. Um, usually I'll hit W to go through the line, or I'll hit capital A to go to the end, or I'll hit W or zero to come to the front. So that combination, and B to go backwards in the line, or I'll use T um, to hop to that curly brace, or 
parentheses right here, um, those are moving in between the line. And then to change stuff, of course, using C to hop into change mode, that one's. So that kind of gives you an idea how I navigate and how I change stuff. Um, so I hope that helps. There's a lot to do with Vim. If you've never tried Vim before, um, I would highly recommend just going to your terminal and then do Vim Tutor, I believe is what it's called. Um, and it'll take you through a tutorial to learn the very basics. That's how I started, and now I use it pretty much for everything. Now I'm not using Vim itself, I'm using Visual, Visual Studio Code, but I am still using the Vim key bindings. I pretty much can't use an editor now. I actually can't use the mouse to code anymore. It feels really bad. I'm always just on the keyboard pressing buttons, hopping around, changing stuff, renaming that way. So it takes a while to get used to, but once you get used to it, you'll notice you'll be a lot faster of a programmer than if you use the mouse. So personally, I think it's definitely worth the time investment, um, especially if you're coding a lot. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it interesting how I do Vim. Uh, let me know if you have any cool Vim uh, tricks below. I always love learning about them. Or what do you guys use commonly? Um, anything I can, you think I can do to improve my Vim workflow, I'd love to know. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.